Let's create a nice gradient mask in After Effects. In a new composition, I'm going to right click this bottom left area and go to New Solid. And we're going to choose a green solid. So the color you choose here first, and then you choose your particular shade of green. Click OK. And then click OK. So now that you have a nice green solid, we're going to use the rounded rectangle tool. Click and hold, and we're going to drag out a nice rounded rectangle. And notice how you see this mask one created over here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the uh, drop down box and I'm going to appreciate the mask feather setting. So if I play with the feather, ooh, very interesting how it softens the edge. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo that. Now if I invert this, I get everything but the green. So the inside is now black. And once again, if I invert it, sorry, if I uh, feather it, you can see the edges once again gets black. Good to know. So this here, I'm going to unclick Invert. And instead of Add, I'm going to choose Subtract. So it looks like subtracting is the opposite of adding. And it gives a similar effect to inverting. Good to know. So we're interested in keeping the green area. So I'm going to choose Add. And now we're going to create a new mask by uh, going to Edit, Duplicate, or Control D. So we're going to we're going to duplicate the mask layer by going to Edit, Duplicate, Edit, Duplicate. That's where we went. So we have mask 2. So mask 1, we're going to be on the add mode. And the mask 2, we're going to be on the subtract mode. So we kind of understand that subtract gives us uh, the black inside. So if I subtract, we get a black inside. But what we want to do is, we're going to hit the drop down box here. We're going to feather away the edges. So we know that if we're forgiving, um, we're going to kind of get rid of the, uh, the edges. We're going to make the edges soft. So these two masks working together, the first mask got a green solid area in this shape, and the second mask made it black, but we also feathered away the sides such that we see a little bit of green on the edges. And on this option here for the mask 2, we change the mask feather setting. And if you invert the mask too, instead of going from black to green edges, you can go from green to black. And this looks pretty nice. So you can always uh, use After Effects directly if you know how to do it. Otherwise, you can use some other programs and just create a picture, such as Photoshop. And this looks beautiful. Excellent.